Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve and graph this inequality. So the first thing we need to do is we need to understand the absolute value uh, when dealing with an inequality. And when you have absolute value, we need to remember there's two solutions to it. Um, remember the absolute value of a number, if we were going to take you know, the absolute value of negative 3 and the absolute value of 3, we could have two different inputs and we're still going to get the same solution. So without going into too much into this, um, what, when we have an absolute value of an inequality, we need to set up our two solutions to therefore then we can get rid of the absolute value sign. So what I'm going to do is every single time when I set up, I make sure that my absolute value sign is um, isolated. Then I'm going to set up two different situations. I'm going to do 3n is less than 6, and then 3n is the negative 6. So you could have 6 or negative 6. But the important thing with inequalities, just like when we multiply divided by negative 1, since I'm now producing this negative answer, I'm going to flip the sign. So now write this as 3n is greater than negative 6. Now, to solve and graph the inequality, I simply solve for my variable, divide by 3 on both sides, I get n is less than 2, divide by 3, and say n is greater than negative 2. So now, to graph this, I'm going to create a number line, and let's do 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now, since I'm dealing with the, just a less than and a greater than symbol, I know that I'm going to be using an open circle. So n is less than 2, so I'm going to go over to 2, and then n is greater than negative 2, which will be another open circle. Now, what we're going to do is what we have is a compound inequality. We're going to be graphing both of these on the same axis. So you could say that n is greater than 2, that's going to be all numbers that are greater than 2, which would be pointing in that direction. And then n is less than 2 is going to be all values going in this direction. So our solution is only going to be where these two inequalities cross, which is going to be between our two values. So therefore, I can simply kind of just erase up top, and we can say that our solution is not going to include negative 2 and 2, but therefore all the solutions between our two values. So there you go. Hope it helps. Thanks.